guys, it's Anna here, and I wanted to show you how I use uh, an app called Photify in order to make my images pop. You can see this, the, the app, I believe it is in the uh, Android store as well. But this app typically needs to be connected to the network because there are lots of uh, images that you can pull that are not even your own. So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to pull my breakfast image this morning because the last thing I want to do is to put a boring image up there like this, right? So I take a look at the image first and it just looks too boring for me. And I actually took two pictures of my breakfast this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this other app called A Beautiful Mess and I will show you why. You can take one picture, this is a little bit better I think, and you can take that long picture. See I have an iPhone 6 Plus so it's, the picture usually is very long. I can make it into a square image by just simply putting it in through this app creates little borders on the side, but um, it makes it more manageable. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. I can do the same thing with that first image that I had so that I can see which one I really, whoops, that's not the one I want. See, see which one I really want. Okay, I can do the same thing, make this one into a little square. Gotta love having young girls and justice. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Photify and I'm gonna click home so that I can start over and create uh, an image that I can post on Instagram or my uh, Facebook account in a square image, okay? So this was my breakfast this morning, and of course if I just posted it like that, it would be super boring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, something a little bit more fun. I like this circle image. There's all sorts of overlays that you can use, so I want you just to play with it, but what I like about this is I can bring it down to the corner and make it more of like a, a an area where I can type over. You see that? If I bring it down here, I can type over that, right? So then I'm going to add some text to it, and I'm going to say um, back to the basics because I've been on vacation. I want to share the story of how I'm back to eating correctly. Now, what I like to do is I like to create the font and make it the same color as something in that image, right? So right now I'm using that buffalo sauce there. Back to the basics, okay? And I like to click preview photo to see what that looks like. And sometimes... Uh, I'll add what it is. Let's see, this was one egg, four egg whites, red onion. And all I do is I simply play with this. Now I want this maybe to be me to be the format to be left, okay? And I don't like that text, so I'm going to make it a little bit more fun. I'm going to bring it over here. Probably need to make it a little bit darker so people can actually see it. That is not even, uh, I don't want to, I want to be able to see it. I want it to look right. So I just keep playing with this. I think I'm going to change the font again. Mess with it a little so that it stands out. You can actually read it. And I just keep going down the line, and I just don't like that. Okay, so what I can do is I can add another element, and let's just say there's a square here. And I'm going to take this square, and I'm just going to lift it right at the very top.
top. Okay, and then I'm going to take that original text, I'm going to double click on it, I'm going to go to layers, and I'm going to bring that layer forward so it'll go over the white. And I want that to be a smaller font so that it will actually fit on there. May or may not fit on there. Well, it actually does fit on there. So if I go like that and I drag this over so it doesn't look too goofy, then there you go. Preview photo. Well, I think that that looks pretty good, but I don't like the color of the font. So again, I'm going to go back and I'm probably going to take something out of the red onion uh, color here. Actually, that one's kind of good. And I'm going to, that's it, preview, save, and share. Now I have my image that I can share on my Instagram account and make it stand out more than just your typical boring breakfast, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say, uh... Vacation is over. Because remember, I want to create value for somebody else. Maybe somebody else is just getting back from vacation and they just don't know what to start with. Um, here is my first meal back on the wagon. Super simple. And then I'll do a call to action. Uh, are you back in the swing of things? If so, what did you have for breakfast? Okay, so now that I took that boring, and what I like to do is I like to put my email address here. Some people put their Facebook account. I like to put my email address. So what I did was I basically created value. So somebody can scroll through and see exactly what I ate. And it's super simple rather than that boring, boring uh, <laughs> plate of eggs. Okay. So I want to show you one other thing with Photify. What I like to do with Photify as well is I like to create uh, quotes. So I will take, just for, the, for example, I took this one this morning. You can see this. This was simply an image on Photify. So if you wanted to, you can go create single photo, go to your stock images, and search. Now I've purchased a few of them that I really like. Like I like this one because there's so many great images in here. But I clicked on what's trending or what's new. I like what's trending. Um, they typically are the same thing. Here's a popular. Like this is a good one. I've used this one before. And you can type over. You can add an element or you can type the, a quote. You know, um, type a quote over here and just play with it. This makes it look super professional. And um, and makes you stand out. So that is my overview of Photify as well as a beautiful mess. I hope that's.